play Rush by Louis Capaldi and Jesse Reyes. We've got a capo on our second fret here. We're in standard tuning, and we are going to use power five chords to play this song. So if you're a beginner, you can play along as well. So we're going to start. We've got our G sharp minor chord. We've got an F sharp five chord, a B five chord, and an E chord. Or we could also play that chord up here. Doesn't matter. We'll probably just learn this one. So if you know how to play those chords, feel free to skip ahead. For now, I will be teaching you how to play those chords. Let's start out here with that E chord. So your index is going to be on the G string, which is three strings from the bottom. One, two, three strings up. Middle finger is going to be two strings down. So one, two strings down, and that's your A string on the second fret. And your ring finger gets tucked right under on the second fret of the D string. You play all six strings for that chord. So for our power five B chord, we're going to have our index finger up to the second fret of the A string, still your second string down. Ring finger is going to slide all the way over to the fourth fret of the D string, which is directly below this A string here. And your pinky is directly below your ring finger on the G string of the fourth fret. But we're just going to play those three strings. That's the trick with this chord. For your G sharp minor, it's the same chord shape. You're just translating that shape up here to the fourth fret, and you're shifting everything up one string. So now you're on the low E string with your index finger of the fourth fret. Ring fingers on the sixth fret of the A string, so one string below this E here. And your pinky is on the sixth fret of the D. And now we just want to play those top three strings. So you don't want to play those. And then you can slide that shape back to the second fret with your index finger for your F sharp chord. Okay, so those are the chords. Let's talk about the progressions now. So the verse sounds like this. Okay, so we start on our G sharp minor. One, two, three, four, B, two, three, Four, E, two, three, four. And if you want to get tricky, you can go one, two, three, four. They do that in one spot, but if not, don't worry about that. We can just stick with the space. One, two on the G minor, three, four to your B, two three, four to your E, two, three, four. And that's all there is for the verse. The chorus sounds like this. Okay, so I'm going on the B, picking all three strings. This D and the G for three or four after. Then we're going to go up to our F sharp, pick the E, A, and the D strings. Continue picking your A and your D. Slide up to your G sharp minor, down to your E. play the chorus pretty straightforward if you want to do a strumming pattern for any of this stuff you can also do that so that would sound like just do all down strokes three four one two three four one two I tried to make that pretty simple so if you're a beginner you don't have to play the bar chords. That is going to be it for this tutorial. 
If you do have questions, feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer those. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and also check out my songwriting playlist on my channel as well. Thank you.